right marijuana. That is the purpose of this meeting, ladies and gentlemen. Marijuana is referred to as Mary Jane, pot, weed, or tea. That Mitch McGann, man, Acapulco Gold, man. I was smoke that tight stick. We're smoking reefer. Five, the weirdest four, thing smoking three, on the internet. Three, the Potheads, 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 Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It's 420 on another hashtag Weed Wednesday, and you're here in the cipher with the Potheads. You, you. I'm your commander in chief. Frank the Tank, and as always, I'm hanging with my very best buds, JB Perez. That's right. What's up? What's up? What's up, y'all? Once again, in the cipher with the Potheads at Potheads Web Show on all the social media spots, www.thepotheads.com. That's really all I got to say. Go there for all your Pothead needs, and to all the radio stations playing us out there, thank you very much, and you, wherever you are watching. Yeah, back in the cypher. Let's keep it going. Well, See said. money. Do you hear me? Hello. Yeah, the world's on fire, everyone. So take refuge and listen to us talk because it's a cra- it's getting crazier. It's not calming down at all. Like, mm. at all. I thought 2020 would, you know, gain steam, okay, with Corona and all the other bullshit and then, like, give us a break, but it's not. Nah, nah, 2020 is definitely living it up to what the hell it's, you know, it's living up to. Like, 2020 is a shit year, and it's only continuing yeah. to be a shit year. Uh, listen, I think we got to fucking uh, mention the elephant in the room here. See, Money, in the last episode, was in the cypher right here. And now see Money's over there. What's up, see Money? Talk to yeah. me. Bro. You blew my mind the other day other day i don't even know how long i've been here weeks uh <laughs> you don't even know you're fucking bleh. yeah i don't know they all blend together uh but yeah like i said man things shit happens and you don't expect it and you're needed elsewhere um let me tell you man exercise has been doing wonders for me those last couple of weeks it's very yeah. strange i'm forcing myself to get super exhausted mentally exhausted i don't know what a runner's high is i've heard that term before i'm not a runner so i'm not claiming that i get that uh, but I do feel like when you get so totally exhausted or strained that you do get some sort of a euphoric, uh, I don't know. Sure, yeah. It's it's literally called the runner's high. That's why they call sure. it that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, but just not to cut you off, you're not here because you had to take care of something somewhere else, right? Yep. Uh, just for our yeah. parents, I was like, well, I didn't see money in the cyber anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, we miss you, bro. But you're here. He's still He's on here. Zoom with us as That's always, right. Yeah. In the cipher with the potheads. Uh, what the hell are we doing, guys? We're changing it up, right? Changing a lot of things right. up, guys. Yeah. Look, <laughs> as you can see, the scenery's a little bit, a little bit different. We've got uh, Eminem here in the cipher. In the cipher, check it out. Um, <laughs> We, 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 we got a nice little fancy chair here we found. Like a king I mean, I love over this here. Thing. <laughs> found this thing at a Google for 25 bucks, okay? Crazy. Only had, yeah, exactly. Uh, but, you know, we're trying to spruce up the cypher a little bit. We're still looking for more quit, for more decor and, and fun stuff. Uh, so things will be changing, but they will be changing for the better. Right. Uh, the, to basically deliver you a more quality product. So, uh, Get ready for that. Thepotheads.com. Yeah, definitely. It's going to be real cool. Uh, and see money see money like I said, he's out handling business, but he will be in the cypher uh, again and, and whenever we do events and stuff like that. So uh, He's not too, too far away. We can no. get him at any time. Exactly. Not, so another beginning for the pod. So, yeah. yeah, we're switching it up. Now we're going to have one topic. We're bringing it back to the pothead, uh, podcast room, Format right? change, yeah. Exactly. So from here on out, uh, we're going to just talk. Well, here's the thing. Everybody has told us, you, you know, we love what you guys are talking about, what you get into, but we never have enough time right. to really, you know, get really into the issues that you guys talk about. You know, we, we're, we were or are beholden to certain radio stations that we play. In. So what we had to do was uh, take breaks. And so that's why you'd see breaks on our YouTube episodes, things like that. But nice. now that's not the case. Basically what we're doing is we're just going to talk about what we want to talk about for this day, whatever subject. We're going to be doing different things. We're going to try out different challenges. We're going to have some guests. We're going to have a lot of different fun. So this is going to open us up for a lot more variety, a lot more fun. Um, we're going to do and, the things that we want to do. We're yes. taking back control. Taking back control 2020 <laughs> has bent us over a barrel, showed us the 50 states, and we're ready to fight back. Hashtag enough 
Enough is enough. All right. That being said, yep. Yeah, so status change a little bit, but it's going to be more fun. So stay tuned. We appreciate all you guys who are following and all you guys are talking about us. It's great. We've been seeing a lot of uh, uh, an uptick in our fan follow. So make sure you look for us on Instagram. Thank we you love guys. all you guys out there. Uh, JB's packing a bowl. So before we get started, ladies and gentlemen, shall we do this as we always do? As we should. We shall, we shall. This is for you, C-Money, right? Yeah, we got to get C-Money. We might have to just, uh, what? Well, let me not say. I don't want to admit to breaking any laws. I already have I wheels have turning. Two. It just uh, might take another week. Not from anything by you guys, obviously. That's mm-hmm. impossible. <laughs> but, so where, have uh, you been able to find a plug where you're at? Because you're off in BFE right now. Um, My... In but two over there. Sibling, uh, for lack of a better word, apparently knows someone from her okay. job. There's uh, always that's yes. how it starts. That's that's, that's the best way to get it, all right? Exactly. You don't want to uh, put in no back alley or anything. No. No. There's have yeah, you ever no. bought bud? Let's talk about that for a second. What's the most sketch situation you've ever bought bud in? Because I've got uh, I definitely, one comes to mind, this weird ass kid, I think his name was John, and my girl and I, fuck, 2010, my girl and I at the time went to go pick up from this kid, and this kid was so paranoid that someone was coming for him that he had us drive into the woods from his house, there was like, I guess a car lot, it was weird, this motherfucker walked from his house, all the way. He didn't even text me he was coming. I'm sitting here texting my girlfriend and I look to my left, there's a dude standing out of my window in the woods. Free and he's just like, What's up, man? So you're Chris? All right, well, he's like, You want something? I got the like, you get the money. Yeah, I wanna buy some weed, dude. Like, what are we doing? Yeah, like, and he has a blunt. He goes fucking... He's like, How do I know you're cool, man? Are you cool? I'm like, Yeah, been smoking weed my whole life, bro. And he's like, All right, well, uh, how about you just hit this? And I'm like, All right, dude, like you know what I mean? Wow. Fucking uh, lunatic, dude. And then, long story short, the next day, this motherfucker wanted to be my friend, I guess. He calls me. I'm at GameStop, bro. I'm buying a game, bro. And he's just like, what are you doing, man? I'm just like, uh, I'm about to buy a game from GameStop. He's like, oh, cool. How'd you enjoy that stuff? You know, so I figured he was, like, new product. Maybe he just wanted to check. Customer oh, service yeah. survey. Yeah, you want to fuck it. A customer service survey. And he was just like, oh, what are you getting? I'm like, I might buy Super Smash. He's like, dude, come over right now. We're going to play that right now. I'm like, uh... No. No. <laughs> I was yeah, like, I'm going to go right, home, man. Right? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. and that was it. It was five minutes of convincing the kid to, like, not call me anymore. Like, you can't. It was like this. a cliche weed yeah. uh, drug dealer. Yeah, kind so of weird. weird. Drug dealer guy. I know you guys have had that. That one dude who's fucking the FBI, bro. The FBI, bro. It's uh, like. Yeah. The guys weed. that take themselves a little, a little too serious. serious. Yeah. No one's coming to arrest yeah. you, buddy. Relax. And here. they only sell weed. Like, if you had coke and heroin and shit. Yeah, I bought right. weed on the street in like New York. I remember one time just downtown Manhattan. I was with a friend and uh, it wasn't very sketch, but now that I think about it, it was just crazy. Like I, I, uh, I just went to some guy, you know, I'm walking and I just went to some guy and I was, he, I noticed he was standing around. You could tell. Yes, things, you could right? tell. And I was like, uh, yo, what's good? You know, you got that? You got trees? Something like that. Yeah. He was like, yeah, follow me. So I start following this guy and I'm walking down, you know, a block. So I start walking down a few blocks, but then he's like, uh, we're off. We were on the main strip in Manhattan, right? So then we that we turned down a block. It's a dark block, but he had me wait in front of like a building. But this block had a lot of, you know, a lot of people on it. It was kind of busy. But he came down, bro. I was the most money I've ever paid for the worst, but oh, oh my God. Yeah, I think I paid like 40 bucks, I think, for like, oh, just some okay. swag, like a blunt or two's worth of oh, just God. some fucking Two grams swag. of the worst weed yeah. you've ever had. Follow me, bud. Yeah. That's what you're taking around. Walk like a mile and a half, bro. <laughs> like, yeah, you can't shit where you eat, buddy. Yeah. That outdoor New York State shit, that brown fucking, yeah, yeah. I remember it. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't have any kind of stories like oh, that. Yeah. Uh, I've been lucky enough to know you almost my entire <laughs> adult life and then live in states where it's they've legal. been legal. Wow. So, uh, you know, thank you. <laughs> yeah. I still don't know what that luxury is like to live in a legal I know, state. I feel, I mean, come on. It really is, you know, to be in a place where it isn't. And not that I can't get, you know, here, okay. here in Florida. Uh, but to know that back home, you can literally take your phone out Put your order in, yeah. anything you want, 
and it'll be ready for you when you go pick it up. They are the same Baby. company, so shout out, give me that sponsorship money, y'all. Pay me, baby. Pay me. Yeah. Um, they're doing vending machines to your shot. Oh, wow. Frank the Tech showed us vending machines from another place in the world, you know, maybe Amsterdam or something. And Insa's doing the first uh, weed dispensary. Like, weed that be vending awesome, machine. a weed vending machine? <laughs> I mean, if it's legal, yeah, 24 7. Literally. I mean, imagine the lines outside of this thing, though. I mean, that, like, how can it be so far fucked that two days of a drive I can have a vending machine, but down here my ass would probably still go to jail? You'd like, be arrested, exactly. be arrested. Exactly. go to prison, yeah. bro, for trafficking. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, it is crazy, and it, it is you know I'm, it sucks that I don't have yeah. a week of weed or nothing because I've been reading about states finally seeing the money. Like they can't let other states take that money because people from New Jersey from uh, Connecticut, Rhode Island, travel to Massachusetts because it's no hassle, get your butt here. Yeah. You know? So why are we gonna continue this losing of money to other states? And now the way the world, it could very well be every state for themselves. So I don't know. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. yeah, legal bud, Massachusetts vending machine. Yeah, I'm interested to see what uh, things are coming in 2020. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what all this is about, this episode. Right. Where, you know, we wanna, Say fuck you to the bad 2020, all the negativity and all the bad shit. Mm -hmm. And kind of, I, I feel like, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I finally hit the tipping point. Like we hit just as bad as it can be and now everything is downhill. <laughs> I'm hoping, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Right. I, there's no way, there's no way that a new president is elected, not elected, I, in my opinion. Like that's the only way this year goes backwards <laughs> is if, uh, Trump wins again, but no. In all seriousness, I think that we've hit a tipping point, and things we've got a lot of exciting things to come. Like seriously, we've had nothing in 2020, yeah, nothing not but things. shit, shoveling shit, <laughs> shoveling shit. But now we got some exciting movies coming out. Mm -hmm. We've got some great TV coming back. Um, we've got some cool gadgets and inventions. Some some crazy, you know. So the music yeah. industry is still already putting out great music. So far, yes, you know? exactly. Yeah. Music. Yeah, it's gonna be. It, it, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. So